in this tutorial we are going to talk about graphing exponential functions so how can we graph an exponential function well it's very simple okay so now what we need to understand is that uh, when you know how to graph the logarithmic function it's going to be easy for you now to graph what exponential function okay so now before we start exponential functions have got what we call the horizontal asymptote okay these are the basic things which you need to understand it has got what we call horizontal asymptote and then when we talk of domain domain of exponential function is always from negative infinity to positive infinity but the range is restricted so this is the inverse of what hmm? the logarithmic functions okay because we know that logarithmic functions has got a vertical asymptote and then the range is always from negative infinity to positive infinity then the domain is restricted but here is the inverse okay so now let's start with the parent graph so let's say that y is equal to 2 to the power x so what we normally do we are saying that the first thing is to consider the what to know what your horizontal asymptote is so what we normally do is after the exponential what comes next we don't have anything there is no any plus what minus what here so we have got it's the same as we have got plus zero meaning that the horizontal asymptote in this case is zero if you don't have anything here if you don't have anything this part we don't have anything we don't have plus anything we don't have minus anything the horizontal asymptote is zero okay but if we have something let's say maybe let's say we have got uh, y is equal to 2 to the power x minus 2 meaning that our horizontal asymptote is what negative 2 if i have y is equal to 2 to the power x minus maybe plus 3 meaning my horizontal asymptote is 3 i'm just getting this that is my horizontal asymptote that's all okay so what it means is that meaning my y is equal to negative 2 in this case okay so now let's continue so we are saying that we have got y is equal to 2 to the power x meaning that our horizontal asymptote is zero now what we do next we are done with the horizontal asymptote next is just to get the top part equate to two things one equate equal to zero two equate equal to what equal to one why are we equating equal to zero because any number to the power zero is one and then any number to the power one is equal to itself that is the uh, that is the the uh, uh, the basic idea behind what eh? this guy the reason why we are going to set x is equal to zero and also x is equal to one is just simple because if i plug in zero there i'm going to it's going to be easy for me to get the the answer again if i plug in one it's going to be easy for me to get the answer so note that the x value the top part just equal to one equal to zero two equal to what eh? equal to one okay so let's see if we have two if we have those two guys what else can we see so those are the things which we're going to plot so we have got x y okay so if our x value is zero and also y one what is our y value so we have got two so if where there is two i put zero meaning that my y is going to be equal to what is going to be one because any number to the power zero is what is one so i'm going to have one what if when I plug in 1 then, if I put y is equal to 2 to the power 1, it's going to be 2. So after doing that, what I'm going to do is this. I'm done now. I'm going to have this. Okay. And then I'm going to have my, my coordinates. What do we have? We have 1 in x values. We have got, a, we have got 1. So we can put 1 there. But the horizontal asymptote is this line. Y is equal to 0. So I've got 1 and then a 0 there. So we're not supposed to worry about that. And then we also have the Y values as 1 and 2. So we can put 1 and 2. Let's plot. So we have our first 0, 1. So 0, 1 is where? In X, 0. In Y is this point. Now, what of the next point is 1, 2? In x, 1, then 2. It's somewhere there. So now, it is going to start from the vertical asy or the horizontal asymptote. Then it is going to be learning away from the horizontal asymptote. So it's going to be like this. 
starting from this point or the way learning our way now from there although supposed to do one more like that so that is our graph now y is equal to 2 to the power x so as you can see this is just the it's more like the reverse of what we over uh, logarithmic functions okay so as we can see it is starting from positive infinity we don't know where it starts from ne or negative infinity and it's going to positive infinity that is the reason why we are saying that the domain is always from negative infinity to positive infinity but as we can see the range is restricted the range is from zero to what to positive infinity that is our range because starting from this point there is nothing down there to negative side so that is how we are supposed to do okay let's have another one <coughs> let's say that we have this let's say that maybe we have um <coughs> we have y is equal to 3 raised to the power negative x so we don't have anything our horizontal asymptote is also zero then i can equate x is equal to zero also negative x is equal to what one meaning that uh, my values of x have got zero and also <coughs> excuse me i've got also what one negative one so let's let's see if i have this x and then y where this x we put zero as well as negative one so what would be our values of x y is equal to three now let's put zero negative zero is going to be zero so zero there we're going to get one and then let's put y is equal to 3 raised to the power what? negative. So I've got negative and then negative 1. So it's more like negative, negative, they're going to cancel out. We're going to have uh, 3 to the power 1, which is just 3. Okay? And then from there, what do we do? We are going to do the same thing. We just put uh, this. Our vertical or our horizontal asymptote, sorry, is also 0. It's going to cut from this line okay so we have got our points as x 0 and negative 1 so negative 1 is somewhere somewhere where we have negative 1 which is here where is it yeah let's put negative 1 here put negative 1 and then we have also 0 and then in y values we have got one and three so it's a one two three okay so we can plot the the guy now so we have one comma what we have got zero comma one in x zero in y we have got what we have got one so it's this point let's use different color it's this point and then negative one comma three is that point okay so once again it is starting from this point going going there you put the arrow there that is now y is equal to 3 to the power negative x that's all now we can see the difference the reason why it's going in that direction because we have got negative there on top the x is negative so it's supposed to go where there's the x negative but the y we don't have any negative in y so it's supposed to y positive negative in x yeah okay let's say maybe we have got something like this y is equal to let's put 2 to the power um, x plus 2 and then we say uh or maybe for a start let's start okay let's let's start with the same one now this one we can put it in this in this way let's just put x plus uh, 2 okay and then now we know that um, our horizontal asymptote we have something now here it's going to be 2 positive 2 then x this top part i'm supposed just to equate it equal to 0 the first one x is going to be equal to 1 so i have this x y so i've got 0 1 so I have my equation as y is equal to 2 to the power x plus 2. Where there is x, let's put 0. So any number to the power 0, we're going to have 1 plus 2, which is going to give us 3. And then I put 1, it's going to be uh, 2, because it's going to be 2 to the power 1. So then we're going to get 4. So again, we have this. 
And so our horizontal asymptote we are saying that is positive 2. So it's going to be somewhere there. Let's say that we have 1 and then we have 2. So it's going to be somewhere there. Okay? And then we have 3, 4. Okay? Or we can put 4 on top just a bit. 3, 4. Then in x values we have got just 1. Okay? So we have 0, 3. So 0 in x direction is this line all the way to 3. 3 is this point. So let's use different color. So we have this. And then we also have um, the last one which is 1, comma. In x direction is a 1, and then 4 is this point. So it is starting from this point, going there, then running away from the asymptote. You can do once again, starting from this point, running away. So that is our graph. Okay. Now let's say we have another one, a complicated one a bit. X or Y is equal to, let's say we have... Mm, two open brackets on top and then we have x minus three and then plus let's say we have got two so this one what we're going to do is uh, the horizontal asymptote remains the same it's going to be two this this guy which is here if there's nothing then it's zero so we are done with that one then we equate the, f the top part equal to zero also equate that one equal to one that's all Okay, so once again we can come to this guy, we say x, y. So where there is x, we know that if we shift this guy to the other side, we're going to have x is equal to 3, and then this one we're going to have x is equal to, because it's going to be plus, we are going to get 4. Okay, so we have got x3 and x4. So let's plug in the values. If I put, if I put x3, what are we going to have? We're going to have 0. So we're going to have 2 to the power 0 is 1. 1 plus 3 is going to be, or 1 plus 2 is going to be 3. So my y is going to be 3 as well. Then 4, if I put 4, it's going to be 1. 2 to the power 1 is 2. Okay? So 2 plus 2, we're going to get again 4. So this is very simple. It's giving us the same thing. Okay. So we have this. This is what we have. So our horizontal asymptote remains as 2. So we have got 1, then 2, 3, 4. So it means uh, this guy. Then we are saying that is 3, comma 3, we have this point. Let's say that we have 1, 2, 3. Then we have 4. So 3, comma 3 is this point. Okay. And then we also have 4 that one is this point so how is our graph going to be is this correct okay let's see the graph is supposed to go it goes there and then it touches there okay so that's how we we graph uh, exponential functions Okay, let's have the last one. Let's say that we have our equation as uh, y is equal to 3x. Let's have plus 1. And then let's have hmm, plus 2 here. So once again, the horizontal asymptote remains as 2. Let's put minus because the previous example we had plus as well. Let's put minus. Okay, let's put minus 2. Meaning our horizontal asymptote is negative 2. Let's now set x plus 1 is equal to 0. x plus 1 is equal to 1. So again, we are going to have x. This one, we are going to have x is equal to. We shift this one to the other side, we are going to have negative 1. The other one, we shift negative positive 1 there, 0. So we have this. x, y. So where there is x, we put 0 put that negative 1 and 0. So if I put negative 1 here, it's going to be negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. 3 to the power 0 is 1. 1 minus 2, I'm going to get negative what? 
I'm going to get negative 1. Okay. What else? What else can we see? We can also see that uh, if we have 0, if I put 0 there on top, it's going to be 0 plus 1 is going to be 1. 3 to the power 1 is 3. 3 minus 1 is going to be 1. So we've got negative 1 and 1. This is what we're going to have. So we can get the graph and then we say that uh, we have this. So let's say that we have 1 there and then 2 there. So our 2 is the horizontal asymptote. That's where the graph is going to start. And then positive y, we have got only 1. Let's put 1 there. Then here we have got in x, we have got negative 1. So we can put there and then and 0. And then what we're going to say is that this. We're going to say this. W uh, negative 1 comma negative 1 is this point. And then we also have this point, 0 comma zero comma uh, zero comma one is this point okay so it's going to start from see there was a horizontal same to start from there and then running away from running away from that point but it's supposed to touch exactly there so that is our graph okay so that is how you can graph uh, uh, exponential functions now what is the domain in this case the domain remains the same, positive, negative infinity to positive infinity. But the range changes. As we can see, the graph is starting from this from this point. The graph is starting from negative 2 to positive infinity. It started from negative 2 to positive infinity. Okay, so that is the range. Okay, thank you for watching this video.